I was seven years old and I was at primary school, at Oncombe Primary School, and Frida Black um, was teaching the dancing, um, the Manx dancing at school. And when I got to the end of year six, she asked, was I interested in joining the Folk Dance Society to carry on? And I jumped at the chance and I've never looked back. It's been my, it's been my life. I got involved because I saw a Welsh group dancing at a Celtic Congress and they had a fiddler who could make his fiddle talk and he'd go through the middle of the dancers and I thought, wow, that's great, why aren't we doing it? So when I came back from that trip, I looked around and found the Manx Folk Dance Society and found it was just as much fun as I hoped it would be. At first I wasn't so keen, because there wasn't many men in those days doing it, so I would think I was the only one at one stage. I started with the kids, then I went into the adult section, because the kids used to go at eight, and I stayed on until the very end, and that's how I learned the dancing. I'm thinking back when I very first saw the Folk Dance Society, I'm going to show my age now. I was at Williston School, and um, I was watching Manx dancing on the playing field. I was watching Doreen Devereux, and she was my teacher. And she was dressed in costume, and I was thinking, that's my teacher, she's dancing, you know. And that's when I first sort of really warmed to the dancing. But I never actually got in until about 1990, when my, my girls saw it at Craig Niche, and they said they wanted to do it, so. And it went from there. I feel the Manx Folk Dance Society has been really important for the island because we've represented the island in Germany, Sweden, Norway, the UK, you know, we're getting people Googling us. <laughs> Where's the Isle of Man, you know, when they see us? So it's, we, we do do a lot for the culture and we forged friendships with so many different dance groups in Europe and in the UK, Wales. I think lots of the other groups probably haven't had the opportunity that Manx Folk Dance have had because of the 70 years it's took to get this far. We've had the opportunity to meet princesses, queens, kings, good to get the opportunity. And they've always had a great interest as well. I've made so many friends from doing the dancing. They've become family. We have the social side of the dancing. We just, it's pure enjoyment for the love of dance. We've got to keep it going, we've got to keep it alive. If we don't keep the tradition of Manx dancing going, it will be lost and it would be a real shame for, for the old man, especially when we're celebrating our 70th anniversary this year. It's important to me because I feel I've played a big part in the latter years with the society going on to teach the dancing to the group and we've paved the way for other dance groups as well to, to form the likes of Perry Bain, Skevenjerg and Nefaini. Without us being who we were, those groups may not have been created, been made. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs>